In this video, you will learn about the truth of how Adidas became a billion-dollar company. Adidas is a well-known sportswear brand that is best known for its athletic apparel and footwear. Only after Nike is it the second-largest sports brand in the world. Although the Adidas and Puma brands are the biggest rivals in the sports industry, their founders were brothers. Adidas was started by Adolf Dassler. In contrast, Adolf Dassler's older brother Rudolf Dassler founded Puma. You must be familiar with Adolf Dassler's life story to fully comprehend the success of Adidas. Even though Adolf Dassler started as a meager cobbler, he put a lot of effort into growing Adidas into a multi-billion dollar sportswear company. Please remember to click the like and subscribe button before viewing the videos. Early Life Adolf Adi Dassler was born into a low-income family on November 3, 1900, in Herzogenorach, German Empire. His mother Algirdas ran a laundry business, while his father Christoph Dassler made shoes. To supplement their income, they also offered to sell homemade slippers. In 1913, Adolf Dassler finished his formal education. He went into the shoe business like his father. Due to the conversion of many of the town's textile mills into shoe workshops by 1922, Herzogenorach town rose to prominence as a center for shoemaking. There were only 112 shoemakers in the town at that time, out of its 3,500 inhabitants. Struggles The economy suffered greatly as a result of World War I, and the lives of cobblers became challenging. Due to his extreme poverty, Adolf Dassler was forced to make shoes in the back of his mother's laundry because he could not afford a proper workspace. Because the electricity supply at the time was so erratic, he frequently connected his machines to a stationary bike to provide power. Adolf Dassler once used a stationary bike to generate electricity. In the hopes of finding materials that could be used to make shoes, he used to scavenge the remains of the military hardware used in the conflict. Adolf Dassler used to recycle anything he could find, including parachutes, car tires, helmets, and uniforms for the military. Sportive Spirit Due to his passion for sports, Adolf Dassler had a lifelong dream of creating athletic shoes. To create better sports shoes, he always experimented with the ones he made. He conducted numerous tests, one of which involved equipping the shoes with metal spikes. His older brother Rudolf Dassler joined the company in July 1924. Dassler Brothers Shoe Factory was the name of the new business that Adolf and Rudolf Dassler founded together. Adolf Dassler was a superb shoemaker and a quiet craftsman, whereas Rudolf Dassler was a superb marketer, salesman, and extrovert. These two brothers were a perfect match. With Rudolf Dassler handling the marketing and Adolf Dassler handling the production, they made the ideal team and their business flourished. Their athletic shoes eventually gained a lot of popularity. When they could afford a dedicated workshop to make the shoes in 1926, they moved out of their mother's laundry. They hired 12 people for their new factory, along with their father, Christoph Dassler. 100 pairs of shoes could be produced every day in this factory. Association with Sports Adolf Dassler made the decision to take their business outside of Bavaria as it began to expand. As a result, he visited nearly all of the major sporting events and convinced numerous athletes to try the shoes. Due to his efforts, many of the best German athletes competed in the 1928 Olympics in Amsterdam wearing shoes made by the Dassler Brothers Shoe Factory. Later, Adolf Dassler decided to sponsor the best athlete at the 1936 Berlin Olympics which were held in Nazi Germany. He chose the best footwear, traveled to the Olympic Village in Berlin, and persuaded American sprinter Jesse Owens to wear the Dassler Brothers Shoe Factory footwear. Fortunately, Jesse Owens supported Adolf Dassler's position and wore the shoes during the Olympic events. Jesse Owens broke numerous records and won four gold medals in the track events at that Olympics thanks to his legendary move. Because of his success, the company's reputation soared and it received exposure on a global scale. Considering that Adolf Hitler was in charge of Germany at the time, this was a very risky marketing strategy. The Berlin Olympics served as a vehicle for Adolf Hitler to demonstrate the superiority of the Aryan race, but his strategy was foiled when Jesse Owens garnered numerous medals. Fortunately, the Dassler Brothers Shoe Factory, a small company operating in Nazi Germany, 
evaded Adolf Hitler's attention, even as they gave Jesse Owens shoes, which were believed to have helped him win the races and undo Hitler's plan. The Americans were happy to become their customers after learning about Jesse Owens, an American athlete, and the Dassler Brothers Shoe Factory. As a result, the American stations built close to the town served as the Dassler Brothers Shoe Factory's international customers. Brothers parted. Even though this business managed to survive World War II, the German economy took a significant hit. The brothers drifted apart during these challenging times due to disputes between their families. Rudolf Rudi Dassler eventually left the Dassler Brothers Shoe Factory in 1948. He left the company with most of the employees and established Ruda as a new business. Rudolf Dassler gave his company the name Ruda by using the first two letters of his name, Rudolf and Dassler. He changed the name Ruda to Puma after realizing that it was less athletic. Rudolf Dassler made a lifelong commitment to never again speak with Adolf Dassler. Since one of the Dassler brothers employed the majority of the town's residents, the residents of Herzogenorach gradually sided with the brothers. The employees of one company disliked interacting with those of the other, and for 60 long years, the town's residents were divided. Fighting Spirit These brothers' rivalry gave them the tenacity they needed to rise to the top of their respective sports and gave them the determination to succeed. By combining the first two letters of his name, Adolf, with the first three letters of the Dassler Brothers Shoe Factory and inserting a I Adolf Dassler changed the name of the Dassler Brothers Shoe Factory to Adidas. The Adidas logo then evolved into the three stripes. Adidas created specific shoes for a variety of athletes by focusing heavily on technical innovations and sponsorships. The Miracle of Bern The 1954 World Cup Championship game was also referred to as the Miracle of Bern. The first World Cup following the war was held in Europe, and this World Cup was the second to be held. Since Switzerland maintained its neutrality throughout the war, and was largely spared from its effects, Bern, Switzerland, was chosen as the host city for this World Cup. In the championship match, the West German team faced off against the powerful Hungarian team. Hungary scored two goals in the first half of the game, leading many people to believe that they would win without a doubt. However, they were scoreless for the remainder of the game. When the German team scored three goals to win the game, the outcome was unexpected. As a result, Germany's newly formed weak team defeated Hungary's much stronger team 3-2. Adidas footwear, also known as Dassler boots, was worn by this German team. It was thought that the German team's victory was made possible by these superior boots. Due to its association with Germany's World Cup victory, Adidas rose to great fame. While Jesse Owen's victory helped the old Dassler Brothers shoe factory gain popularity, this World Cup victory helped the new Adidas shoe company gain recognition for its distinctive three stripes. Report with Rappers Run DMC was a well-known American hip-hop rap group in the 1980s. They were nominated for a Grammy Award and had the first album in the genre to be certified gold. They mentioned how much they loved the Adidas brand and how they wore Adidas from head to toe in their very well-known song My Adidas. As a result, Run DMC fans were inspired to purchase Adidas products. Adidas and Run DMC agreed to a $1,600,000 endorsement deal, which was the first of its kind in rap history. Effective Marketing Adidas' marketing strategy was very successful as a result of its association with famous athletes and rappers. David Beckham, a football legend, and Muhammad Ali, a boxing legend, participated in this effort. Currently, Adidas has endorsement agreements with a large number of elite athletes in well-known sports, including Chris Bryant in baseball, James Harden in basketball, and Lionel Messi in soccer. In the 1950s, they began selling in America. On December 6, 1978, Adolf Dassler passed away. As a result, Nike and Reebok gained market share in North America from Adidas. On October 27, 1974, Rudolf Dassler passed away. Even dying did not break their bond, and they were interred in different sections of the Herzogenorach Cemetery. Adidas filed for bankruptcy in 1989 after suffering a loss of almost $80 million.
A French industrialist named Bernard Tappy purchased Adidas for $1.6 billion and moved the manufacturing to Asia. Despite fierce competition from Nike, Reebok and Puma in the late 1990s, Adidas eventually regained market share in America. After that, Adidas never looked back, and in 2006, they paid $3.8 billion to acquire Reebok. Adidas purchased Runtastic for about $240 million in August 2015 after realizing the growing significance of technology in the sports industry. Runtastic is a mobile fitness business based in Austria that combines the power of technology with sports. Currently, Adidas employs over 59,000 people, compared to Puma's 13,348 employees, making Adidas much larger than Puma. Adidas is also sponsoring football and FIFA World Cup 2022. For the FIFA World Cup in Qatar in 2022, Adidas has produced several uniforms, all of which are made entirely of recycled materials. These kits were created to eradicate plastic waste. They contain 50% parley ocean plastic, which is seized on isolated islands to stop it from polluting the oceans. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more informative videos. Also, please subscribe to and share my channel. See you in the following video. Take care until then.